Plastic surgery is a big decision, and you want the person doing the operation to be as qualified and as professional as possible. Today we're talking with just that person, Dr. Nicholas Adams with the Center for Plastic Surgery here in Fargo. So welcome to North Dakota Today. Thanks for having me. We're going to talk about your new clinic, your new business, um, but you're not really new to North Dakota. This is reading up a little bit. You're not from Fargo, but you're a Grand Forks guy. That's right. Yeah, I was born and raised in Grand Forks. I grew up on a family farm there. Uh, my parents and most of my family still live there. So. Uh, I did a lot of my training there, so undergraduate, medical school, and then I moved out of state. So I was in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Michigan State University for about six years for plastic surgery training. And then I did an extra year uh, to focus on hand and upper extremity surgery as well. I did that down in Phoenix. So okay. it was nice being down in Phoenix for a year, but it's good to be back up in the Midwest and, and be able to take care of patients in this community. It's did really you know you always wanted to come back to North Dakota? I, I think so. My wife's from Fargo here, and uh, we have two young girls too, so we wanted to come back and have, be close to family and, and really a great place to raise family, and, and we're really excited to be back. So I feel like there's a little buzz with your new location, beautiful building, um, and I told you I was doing a little research, great website. Facebook page, uh, but people just want to know a little bit more about you and what kind of services uh, will be offered at your office. Can you tell us a little bit more about your business? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I started for the Center for Plastic Surgery when we got back last summer, and I have a pretty diverse practice. So we specialize in cosmetic surgery, the face, the body, the breast. In addition to that, I do reconstructive surgery of the face, skin cancer reconstruction, but I have subspecialty training in hand surgery too. So not cosmetic surgery of the hand necessarily, but carpal tunnel syndrome, broken bones, arthritis, all that stuff. So it's a pretty diverse practice. Wow, no kidding. So uh, if people are interested in some of your services, wh where should they start? Should they do a little browsing on your website, consultations? You know, what's the best place to start? Yeah, I think the best place to start, uh, it's always good to get to know me and the practice a little bit. The website's a great opportunity for that. Uh, we also have uh, social media presence, so Instagram is a great opportunity to see a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, if you're ready to uh, set up a consultation, you can call our office or you can uh, register for a, a consultation on our website too. Um, the consultation is really a great experience for, for not only for me to get to know the patient and understand their goals, but also for the patient to get to know us, understand that process, and really identify the best procedure that's going to take care and, and help their goals or specific needs. Uh, so reconstructive surgery, it's, it's, it's big. Usually when you think plastic surgery, we're only thinking cosmetic and, you know, cosmetic is maybe more fun to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so what are some of the uh, most popular cosmetic surgeries that you're seeing right now? Uh, breast surgery has been really common, both augmentation, so breast implant surgery and then breast lift surgery. Uh, tummy tucks and liposuction are also really common too. Uh, the non-surgical side of things has really been popular, so injectable products like Botox and filler. Uh, and even non-surgical rhinoplasty, which is kind of the use of fillers to, to correct some of the shapes of the nose. That's been pretty popular recently. And I like the idea, and I would imagine a lot of others, that you can find a doctor here that you trust and you don't have to go you know, like to the Twin Cities or go to Denver. I feel like that was something a lot of women thought, well, I, I can't do it in town. Exactly, and that's one of our goals. Uh, our, our goal is obviously to provide an exceptional care, exceptional results, and a great patient experience, but to really offer everything that patients were going out of town for, um, to really bring that here and, and offer that to, to this community. Um, how about, uh, I guess, I want to know some of the misconceptions maybe that people have with some of the different surgeries. Uh, do you think people fully understand, you know, the downtime or, you know, or that this is actual surgery? You know, that it's not just going to be a, you know, go in for an office visit and, and have this done. So, so we do some small procedures like that, but most of them are, are pretty, pretty significant downtime. You have to take it easy for about four weeks at least. Um, but we try to provide a lot of that information on our website so patients know that coming in. It's, it's never a good surprise to hear that once you come in and set up time and take time out of your schedule. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, some of these procedures are big procedures that, that require a lot of healing, may benefit from pre -re prehab as well. Yeah, like we right, talking yeah. About too. Uh, and I was going to say, looking at your website, you do have a lot of, um, you know, pre and post. Yeah. So you can kind of see, you know, you think you know what you want, um, but then you look and see, is that what you're asking for? Yeah, exactly. So we include some before and after photos on our website. That, that helps patients kind of understand a little bit about kind of expectations. That's a big part of surgery, obviously. Um, but, you know, there's lots of different surgeries that, that we can tailor and different non-surgical procedures to tailor to each specific patient to really meet their goals. So the goal is to 
to get them to where they want to be with really the least amount of surgery possible as we can. Before we let you go, where is the uh, new office building located? Sure, then? it's in the Med Park space, so that's on the corner of 32nd Avenue South and 45th Street. Great location, and check out his website. It's so great to have you here. Hopefully, we can have you back on and uh, tackle even some more specific, uh, you know, services and, and treatments that uh, people uh, can get in on it. And stay Thank here you. in Fargo and do it, Dr. Adams. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back here on North Dakota today.